Hello, this is Reverend Greg Bubba Wages coming to you this morning with Bubba's Budget Friendly Fishing with Jesus. And I uh, just wanted to do a little video this morning um, in reference to meeting Bubba, uh, my fishing journey and passion. Um, first of all, I'm Bubba. Um, I just want to say, hey, y'all. And uh, today I just want to share a little bit about myself. Uh, in this video, you'll get to know who I am, how I got into fishing, and why it's become such a big part of my life. My early fishing experiences go back to my dad uh, taking me, uh, my mom, and my sister uh, out fishing. Um, a lot of times he spent more time uh, fixing all of our lines and baiting our hooks and taking the fish off than he did actually having a chance to fish himself. Um, but it was just an awesome time. Another time that I can remember as, as a youngster, uh, back to my earliest memories, uh, my uncle on my dad's side uh, lived behind across the road from us and he had a catfish pond. I remember him calling one time and telling him, telling me to tell daddy to bring me over there about six o'clock um, with my fishing rod and uh, be ready to catch some fish and he would always feed his fish uh, late in the evening and so he took me out there and fed his fish while uh, he also reached up on the uh, inside the well house there was some shelves and he reached up on the shelf pulled down a little can uh, put some catfish food in that can told me that was my bait and uh, to come on and have fun. And we caught a bunch of fish and I caught a bunch of fish many, 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 many years uh, fishing out of that pond. That was some of my earliest uh, pond fishing memories. Uh, some good times. Uh, you know, we caught everything from uh, brim, uh, catfish. Uh, sometimes I'd catch some bass. Uh, never was fishing for bass, just would be fishing for catfish on the bottom. Um, and would just naturally uh, get a bass. Um, it definitely uh, caused uh, my passion to grow um, and to really, uh, from that first catch that I can remember, I was hooked. I knew something, uh, I knew fishing was something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. It's kind of funny story. I'll give you another little tidbit about me. I uh, love to fish. Don't necessarily love to eat fish. My wife, Holly, uh, her nickname's Willow, and you'll probably see her in some upcoming videos. She loves to eat fish, so when we uh, were engaged, she promised, she made me promise that I would keep her in fish. I told her I would do that, and uh, the rest is history, and uh, we have a good time. And so I catch them, uh, and sometimes she'll clean them and eat them. So um, otherwise, uh, we'll have big fish fries with uh, friends and um you know, I'll have something else. I'll have a hamburger. I'll have a steak. You know, whatever, uh, you know, is, is out there for me to, to eat, I will partake of. Um, learning to fish on a budget was something that I grew up. I didn't know what a budget was back then, but uh, we weren't uh, dirt poor, but we weren't uh, medium to uh, wealthy class either. We were, I kind of call us a upper poor class or a lower middle class um, different times in my life, I think we would fit into either one of those categories um, pretty good. Um, but we always fished uh, to keep fish and to eat fish. And uh, my dad always raised me, if you're going to catch them, either you or somebody better be eating them. Um, and we never did uh, throw anything back. The only way we would throw something back is if it was too small or illegal. Um, and daddy would always say to the ones that were too small when he throwed them back, he would say, uh, grow before you come back or, or keep growing or something like that before we would throw them back. So the majority of the times, uh, you know, if it was legal and it was what daddy called good pan frying size, then we ate them, um, or, you know, family ate them. So, uh. I want to talk about the challenges you face as you get more into fishing, particularly with affording gear and other expenses. Um, fishing, I kind of compare it to golf. You can spend a little bit of money, have fun, do it real well, or you can spend a whole lot of money, um, have fun, and do it well. Um, I tend to lean towards the more of the budget-friendly side of things, and uh, that's what we'll be talking about uh, on this playlist on my channel. 
And uh, I also want to stop here and say if you can please like, subscribe, comment. Um, as soon as I get to a hundred subscribers, I'm going to start having some drawings when we reach milestones. Uh, so everybody that joins between now and the time we get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to put you in a drawing uh, for um, a little gift bag from us. And so uh, please like, subscribe, uh, comment uh, on these videos and share them with your friends also. We would greatly appreciate that. So, you know, I learned to fish on a budget and you know, I learned to you know, find cheap tackle, find cheap gear, or sometimes use some DIY creative methods in making uh, some gear. And I, I just want to highlight a moment when I did realize that you didn't need expensive gear to have a great time fishing. I mean, back in those days, we used to spend a couple of dollars on some worms. Um, if we needed some tackle, a couple of dollars, you know, from some of the discount stores, um, and, and we were fishing, you know, five or $10 would, would get us out there fishing um, and have a great time while we were doing it. Uh, my Christian faith has also influenced my fishing journey. I found Christ at an early age, uh, six years old, uh, in an evangelist uh, train. Um, oh, the word I'm looking for. I can't remember the word. It just slipped my mind, but it's a uh, ventriloquist ministry. That was the word I was looking for. Ventriloquist ministry is how I came to Christ. Um, and I just wanted to just always be fishing. You know, God provided us uh, these fish and provided uh, these fish for us to eat off of. Um, and so that's why I, I kind of took to it and, and really loved it for the for the spiritual side of the situation. Um, I hope that during this series, uh, I'll be able to inspire your faith um, and that this series will uh, create uh, that in you and share. I also want to share some knowledge with y'all. I'll be sharing Bible verses um, in these um, different stories throughout the Bible. Um, but I started this series to help others enjoy fishing without spending a lot of money. I want to build a community of like-minded anglers who are passionate about fishing and faith. Now what's next? I just want to mention to you that I'm going to be doing some videos and topics uh, coming up in this series that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, there are going to be some uh, topics on how to find uh, budget fishing uh, tackle and lures. Uh, where to find those at, um, how to kind of look for the best uh, deal. Also, some uh, hacks that we have found from others uh, and from just, you know, naturally doing this ourselves uh, to save a little money. And uh, just want to, like I said, just kind of share some of those with you. Also, if there's any topics that you would like for me to cover, please put that in the comment section. I'm going to be diligent about reading the comments, uh, and I will uh, read your comment. And if I find uh, a comment that is a great idea, I will use it. And I will also uh, let everybody know out there that it came from you. Uh, so definitely, uh, you know, leave some comments about some uh, topics or uh Maybe a problem or a series uh, that you would uh, like for you know me to cover. Uh, just some final thoughts. I just want to thank you for taking the time to get me to know me a little better. Um, in case I didn't tell you, I don't think I went back and told you. I'm originally from Athens, Georgia. Go dogs! Um, and uh, grew up there and uh, lived in Georgia until uh, 2018. Um, since 2018, me and my wife uh, have been full-time in an RV. Uh, we're currently what they call domiciled in Florida, and that's where we're at right now. We're in uh, Port Orange, Florida. Uh, this is uh, an RV resort, uh, Rose Bay RV Resort. Uh, it's part of the Thousand Trails uh, Encore uh, Trails Collection uh group of parks and if you've never been here i would definitely encourage you to be here it's a great place uh to fish 
um, and just a all around uh, good RV park. Great, great, great staff. Uh, can't say no, can't say any more good about them. Uh, they are just awesome. I mean, they are the best, one of the best. Uh, so, you know, definitely come join us. But that's who I am, kind of where I'm from, where I'm at now currently. And uh, just looking forward to sharing a lot more with y'all. Um, I do want to tell you uh, that I have uh, got a channel uh, song uh, thanks to uh, country artist Cody Webb. Uh, it's going to be Fishing with Jesus is going to be the song. You'll see that linked uh, in the links below and you'll see that on the channel. And also I have a tagline uh, that I'm always going to be trying to end my videos with uh, and it's cast your cares fish with faith. Hey, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all so much for uh, taking time to watch this. And uh, like I said, comment, like, share, um, subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.